Becky's Runaway Balloon. On Monday, Becky helped her mom cook dinner. On Tuesday, Becky helped wash the car. On Wednesday, she helped give her baby brother a bath. On Thursday, she helped give the dog a bath. On Friday, she gave herself a bath, and she didn't need any help. On Saturday, Becky helped take out the garbage. And on Sunday, Becky's mom gave her two shiny quarters for all the work she had done. You were a big help around the house this week, Mom said to Becky. What are you going to do with your quarters? Becky knew exactly what she was going to do with them. She had seen a man at the park selling balloons. Yellow balloons and pink balloons and red balloons and even blue ones. But Becky's favorite was the bright, shiny, purple one. I'm going to buy a balloon, said Becky, as she excitedly ran out the door. At the park, it didn't take Becky long to find the man with the balloons. She held her quarters tightly in her fist as she ran up to him. I'd like a balloon, please, she said, as she opened her fist to proudly show her shiny quarters to the balloon man. And what color would you like? Purple, please. I would like a purple one, answered Becky. One purple balloon for the little lady, said the balloon man as he handed Becky a bright, shiny purple balloon. Just be really careful, he added. Make sure to hold on to the string real tight so it doesn't fly away. I will, promised Becky. But what do you think happened? You guessed it. It wasn't long before the balloon broke loose and started drifting off into the sky, higher and higher and higher. Before long, Becky's balloon was just a tiny purple dot in the sky. As Becky stood there sadly watching her balloon disappear, a little bird flew up to her. Hi there, said the bird. Hello, answered Becky softly. Why do you look so sad? asked the bird. Becky told the bird about her runaway balloon. Oh yes, I see it, said the bird. It's way up there. And then he added, Hey, maybe I can help. Wait here. And with that, the bird started flying off. I wonder where he's going, thought Becky to herself. The little bird flew higher and higher into the sky, chasing the runaway balloon. But just as he'd gotten close to it and opened his beak to grab the string, a gust of wind blew the balloon out of his reach. He followed the balloon even higher and had caught up to it again, when once more the wind blew it away. By now the bird was starting to get tired. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a fluffy white cloud drifting by. Maybe I'll go sit on that cloud and catch my breath for a while, he thought. And so he did. Hello, said the cloud in a soft voice. Hi, answered the bird. I've never seen you here before, said the cloud. I don't usually fly this high, panted the bird. I was just trying to catch that runaway balloon, but I started getting tired, so I thought I might rest here for a while. I hope you don't mind. Oh, not at all, said the cloud. Stay as long as you'd like. I only wish there was something I could do to help. Then the cloud had an idea. She called her friend the wind and told him about the runaway balloon. Oh, yes, said the wind. I was just playing with it a little while ago. I was. I was blowing it here, and I was blowing it there, and I was, you know, have I ever told you how much I love balloons? I don't think I ever have. So let me tell you, I just love balloons. I really do. They're just so, so, so round. Yes, that's what they are. They're round. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a balloon that wasn't round. Have you? I mean, have you ever seen a square balloon? Or one shaped like a triangle? 
No, I don't think so. Once I thought I saw one that looked like a bird. But it wasn't a balloon, it was actually a bird. Don't mind telling you, I was disappointed. Then it was this other time when I... The cloud just rolled her eyes and leaned in and whispered to the bird. Don't mind him. Sometimes she just goes on and on. All that hot air, you know. Then she turned to the wind and said, I thought maybe you could blow and lift me high in the sky so we can catch the balloon. Sure, said the wind in a puffy voice. He then took a deep breath and puffed real hard and started lifting the cloud. The cloud with the bird sitting on it started drifting higher and higher into the sky until they had reached the very, 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 very top. And when they did, they all stared in wonder at what they saw. bird about this, said the bird, and he jumped off the cloud and started flying down. Back on the ground, Becky was still waiting and wondering where her bird had gone and why it was taking so long for it to come back. And then, she saw it. Did you find it? Did you find my balloon? Yes, I did, said the bird. But where is it? asked Becky. Where is my balloon? up with God. With God? Becky asked somewhat puzzled. Yes, said the bird, along with all the other blooms that boys and girls have sent to us. With God? Becky said again, unable to believe what she was hearing. But what does he do with them all? He has a party, answered the bird. A party? asked Becky. What kind of party? A party where all the little boys and girls whom God took to heaven, where he could watch over them. Thank you party. A thank you party? For who? For all the boys and girls who shared their balloons by sending them up to him so he could be used for the party. And when is the party? asked Becky. Whenever you see a rainbow in the sky, said the bird, God takes all the different colored balloons that were sent to him and hangs them in the sky to make a rainbow. And sure enough, as Becky looked up, the clouds started partying. Beautiful rainbow appeared in the sky. A big smile came across Becky's face as she saw her purple balloon in the rainbow. The end.